ECOSUD has showed it possessed sufficient knowledge of the subject matter at hand, albeit no individual property right or interest has been affected. The board observes that ECOSUD has expertise and experience with regard to matters pertaining to wetlands and the region of Point Destiny, and this is backed by an expert's report. If prejudice is confined to economic prejudice and prejudice to a private interest, such a narrow interpretation would defeat the larger purpose of the Environment Protection Act of 2002 of protecting the environment, particularly in situations where proposed development would take place in a private, remote area, which is less likely to impact on, a, on an individual's personal interest. Further to the judgment delivered, I wish to highlight the following. First, this judgment has brought further clarity on what defines an agreed party under Section 54.2 of the EPA of 2002 to the effect that an NGO which is able to demonstrate sufficient undue prejudice may challenge the decision to grant an EIE license, although no private or economic interest has been affected. But I can't understand why is that the minister has not allowed the promoter to fight its own case before the Privy Council. Why is it that the minister had to side with the promoter and in doing so his minister has been complicit in undermining the procedural safeguard of an appeal to the tribunal by allowing the promoter to proceed with the development as this amounts to a failure to care responsibly for the environment. Monsieur, Monsieur le Président, il n'est pas, euh, pas normal de, de dire qu'on est en train de permettre à tel ou tel développement, etc. Mais je dois quand même dire que c'est vrai que le judgment judicial committee of the Privy Council mentioned on works ongoing on, on, on the site, mais we take note of remarks need consideration. As far as we are aware, there has not been any formal request of a stay order by ECOSUD before the Supreme Court or bef before Eloat. Eh? Je dois dire aussi que le ministère de l'Environnement, je proposais de soumettre un EMP pour approval on the 14th of December 2021. In view of the ongoing court case, the advice of the Attorney General's office was sought on the 7th of July 2021, whether the EMP can be processed and the Attorney General's office informed the 27th of July 2021, provided that there has been no application for a stay of the implementation of the project made by an interested party before either the Environment Land Use Tribunal or the Supreme Court, there would not be no legal impediment to proceed with the implementation of the proposed development. 